Welcome to a special edition of Rants. I've been Jim. This is brought to you by my Facebook buddies. I'm on, I'm on like popular demand now for the rants. I happen to mention I think about doing one. Then I get comments on some of the stuff like today is appreciation of a weed day. Could be any kind of weed, but you know what subject came up. I ain't commenting. Nope. You keep, I keep my comments to myself on some subjects. I do have a reputation to withhold, you know what I mean? Anyways, such a beautiful day. Look at the sky. I mean, it's gorgeous. I'm out here in the front porch. You know, I got my blankets to sit on. It's comfy. Cabin fever. Man, I'm tired of just not being able to go anywhere. I can't drive. Everyone's gone usually during the day. It's probably why I've been spending so much time in a computer. Better days are coming. I'm flying up to New England to see my grandson and family and be like a road trip with Big Jim Show. Yeah, yeah. It'll be an in-between show for season five and season six. Road trip with Big Jim. There could be some roadkill on the way, too. Check out my YouTube. You might find some roadkill. But um, Facebook, everyone likes to share. Kind of reminded me of this old couple at the rehab place I was at, the nursing. Well, but not really a nursing home. It was a rehab. I guess it was maybe a nursing home. Kind of like added to it, maybe a wing. Yeah, that's besides the point. But anyways, this old couple, when I used to used to take the wheelchair down to the cafeteria, I got sick of eating in bed. I had to bring some snacks back to the bedroom. But I mean, at the meal itself, I went down to the cafeteria. And every night, this would happen. But the first night really threw me off. To get one meal. It was just the, the lady was the only one staying there. The husband came and visited every day like that faithful husband should and uh, she'd slide to plate to him and eat for instance th th this night there was a hamburger they had hamburger and fries so he cuts the hamburger in half he divides the, the fries up evenly I mean there was a small one they, he, he broke it in half it was just beautiful how he delicately served the whole plate out half a pickle each and then he decided to eat, and they shared, like, a, I think a glass of iced tea it was. And every time he took a sip, she would. But she didn't eat the whole time he was eating. No, I was starting to think, Jesus, she's so thoughtful that she's going to let him have her food because she's sneaking food back to the room like I am. No, nah, nobody else does that stuff. Listen, but anyway, so he's all done. He's wiping his mouth. And so I, I, I kind of leaned over, and I went... You know, I can get you guys another plate if you like. And she said, no, 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 we, we share everything. That's our, our dream. We share everything. Right, well, that's cool. Oh, I'd be glad to get you a plate, though. But no, no, that's all right, sir. And then she looked at him and she said, are you done, hon? He goes, yeah, it was fantastic. She goes, all right, can I use the teeth now? <laughs> hey, look, it's a rant. Okay, you didn't like that one, or you did? I don't know. I don't really care. The, here's the other one. The same folks. Can you believe it? The same two older folks. She was in a room. It was, it, it was kind of like a wing next to my wing, and every time I would wing my wheelchair down the the hallway, I'd make sure that I waved to them. You know, they, they're beginning to be friends, and. Um, so she's waving me to come on down. So I got and we looked down to her wing and they were sitting out in the hallway with a little, like a little card table. And she's sitting in her wheelchair and he's got a chair up there. And I looked at her and go, what are you guys doing? And she said, we're putting a, a puzzle together. I said, a puzzle? I said, what is it supposed to, what, what are these pieces supposed to create? She said, a rooster. I looked at the husband, I said, you really love this lady, don't you? He goes, you know I do. 
You know why I knew he loved her? It was a box of cornflakes, and they were putting cornflakes together. Now, that's not true love. <laughs> I don't know what is. <laughs> you enjoyed the rant so far? Yeah. See, this is what happens when you're bored and you're at home and you're waiting to do TV. This is my ways of escape of reality that I can't perform. Don't go there. Please, ladies, don't go there. This is my ranch, remember? All right. I'll end it with this. I do get out once in a while, and I went down to Wally World, and right next to it was a pet store. They had all this stuff outside. And uh, this little girl walks up, and she's looking around. So the guy leans down, and he goes, can I help you? And get a couple missing teeth in her face. You know how little kids are. Let the traffic go by. It's not really a busy street, but when I do my rants, for some reason, people like to come by. But um, she says, yeah, I'm looking for some wabbits. He goes, oh, do you want a, a, a will of white wabbit that's fooey? Or do you want a black wabbit that's really cool? And she looks at the guy. And I burst out laughing. She says, I don't really think my python get that twit. And with that, how you doing? They got to wave at it when they go by. Especially when you're holding the camera up to yourself. You know what I mean? They're looking at you like, what's he doing? Unless they know who the gym is. And obviously they didn't. So I waved. Just like I'm going to do to you folks right now. With Big Jim. We'll see you later.